Hello and welcome to Tangy Talks TV and Movies. I'm Tangy and today we're looking at How a Mosquito Operates, a 12 minute animated film from 1912. This is another film from Windsor McKay and it is another film that's a spin-off of Windsor McKay's comic strip Dreams of a Rarebit Fiend. I've heard this one described as equally funny and horrifying and you had me at equally funny and horrifying. Those are two of my favorite things. Let's check out How a Mosquito Operates. It's one of the first ever line-drawn animations. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh God, twist! <laughs> oh, amazing. It's with Heidi <laughs> Lopsy that <laughs> coming. What? What? <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> oh, straight into it. Look at this guy with his hat. And his case. What's he got in his case? Oh, is he on a vein? What is he on? Oh no, it's a branch. Okay. Oh, look at this guy. Plenty of blood in him. <laughs> I love the look of these characters. Everyone's so sketchy and suspicious. Everyone's looking around all the time. Wow, that is a big mosquito. Holy hell. Oof. How's he going to get in? Oh! <laughs> what? Did I see something suggesting he's a gentleman mosquito then? Maybe? They are definitely in horror territory with a mosquito of this size. I want to know what he's got in his bag. Here we go. What is that? It's like a, a sharpening stone. <laughs> wow. Oh. Where's he going to put it? <laughs> oh, right in the nose. <gasps> uh! <laughs> it's too much. He's gone in too deep. <laughs> This guy's haunted eyes. Wow. Oh, why is he doing it like that? What happened then? I'm going to have, oh, I'm going to have nightmares about this. Oh, that neck fat roll. He's going to go for that, I'm sure. <laughs> That's horrifying. This is brilliant. Look at the details on the hand. Total body horror, this cartoon. <laughs> you can hardly move, he's so engorged with blood. <laughs> oh. 
I cannot stand the way he sticks his proboscis so far into the flesh. And I love how everything's like a line drawing except for the body which is rendered in 3D, really. It makes it so much creepier. Oh, look at him. Like a zeppelin full of blood hovering around the man's head. <laughs> this really is on that knife edge of comedy and horror. Where is this going? Oh, is he too fat now to, to even do his normal functions properly? The suspense is killing me. All oh, right, the nose. Mom! <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> wow. I thought how a mosquito operates was brilliant and it only goes to about six minutes not 12 as i originally said <laughs> it is so funny and so incredibly creepy the way it's drawn is so spare yet that detail of having the um the mosquito's abdomen rendered in 3d really really adds to that sense of body horror that just seeps through this film as a bit of very early animation it's fantastically effective while being very efficient in the way it's drawn. And once again, Winsor McKay brings that element of character to these animated figures. They're not just a stick mosquito and a stick man. They're, they're figures with a lot of character and it adds so much to the movie. I couldn't recommend how a mosquito operates more highly. I just think anyone could watch this and enjoy it, even today, 111 years after it was first made. And I think that says a lot about the quality of the animation and the quality of the ideas driving that animation. I love the fact that Dreams of a Rabbit Fiend spawned all these different film spin-offs and I will be featuring more of those in coming weeks. <laughs> I'm still in shock at the horror ending of this one but the whole thing is just steeped in a kind of horror that builds and builds as the mosquito's abdomen builds. This is brilliant and really a lot of fun. If you've enjoyed watching How a Mosquito Operates with me today, I would love it if you would like and subscribe. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope I see you next time. Bye.